Hey everyone, Will here from my flea market finds for October 2nd, 2016. Uh, cold, damp day today. Not a whole lot of people set up at the uh, flea market's uh, yard sales this weekend. Uh, fall of the year's here. It's that uh, last little push uh, at the end of the year to uh, for people to sell stuff. And fall's normally pretty good for me. Uh, so we'll have to see what the next uh, few weeks bring. But uh, got a few things here to show you. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, love going to yard sales. You get such cheap prices at yard sales. Uh, for instance, uh, there's a king size uh, comforter right there. Great shape. It looks like pretty good quality. Some I will normally buy, but five bucks. I'll see if the wife wants it. Really neat, uh, looks like a uh, Southwest uh, rug uh, from uh, from Ikea. Still got the tag on it. Uh, that was $4 for that. Have to look that up, see what it goes for. But uh, um, that was probably a $50 rug at Ikea at least. Big old spotlight. If you follow my videos, you know I bought one of these pretty much identical to this uh, back uh, a few months ago. Got it listed. I think we got like 350 or 400 on it. So came across another one. Uh, they had a hundred dollars on it. I offered 50 and they took it. I was kind of surprised they took it. Um, so uh, we'll clean it up a little bit and uh, get it on there. That uh, industrial lighting look uh, always uh, always sells well. Uh, being in Baltimore, I'm surprised that uh, I get a lot of people that drive down from New York City. A lot of dealers uh, will drive down to buy uh, big pieces such as this. A uh, clamp. Still in a box. If it wasn't still in a box, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Two bucks. Wilton, good name. Uh, over here, uh, Barack Obama. In the uh, got a little rain on him. Uh, in the uh, from the inauguration, 2013. Uh, that was five bucks. Uh, that's not a real signature. It's a stamped signature. Little mag light, 75 cents. It's still in the pack, not worth a whole lot. Uh, King's High a set pick me ups for your highballs. That was a buck. Uh, some uh, book covers here, I guess, uh, really well done. Radio Times, television, I guess. Uh, I guess that's for like guides that came out, maybe weekly uh, weekly guides. They would uh, they had their little holders for them. That was uh, two bucks a piece on those. Little uh, Hoshel comb, uh, 1947, our 15th year of good storekeeping. Little. Uh, suit brush there. Um, that was uh, two bucks. Uh, these were pretty neat. Uh, had a friend of mine called me up on the phone and said, hey, you gonna be home? I got something to show you. So he brought these over to me and uh, he got these from the uh, I can't think of the name now. The uh, uh, it's uh, where the uh, um, uh, I can't think of it. The uh, but they're marked Norway sterling. They're enameled. Really nice condition. And a uh, little Demitas spoons here. Uh, he says, 
give me 50 bucks for the, for both boxes. So I did, and uh, we went ahead and listed them right away. This was on Thursday. This has like six watchers on it. So I, and we put these on for 80. We put these on for 120. Pretty sure these are going to sell. So spent 50. Should get hopefully get 200 for them. And uh, if not, uh, yeah, pretty close to that. So if they sell, I'll slip on a little extra money. And uh, it's always good to keep take good care of people like that that bring you stuff. Because uh, there's always, he could have brought these to any number of uh, other guys to buy them. But he brought them to me, so I'm going to make sure to take care of them. So next time he gets something good, he's going to come back to me. Oh, Habitat for Humanity. Couldn't think of it, but uh, there was a Habitat for Humanity store, and that's where these were. Uh, how they wound up in a Habitat for Humanity, I don't know. But uh, I'm glad he spotted them and uh, brought them to me. Uh, a little Schlitz uh, beer lighter, two bucks. Uh, this is, I, I can't remember what this is called, um, it's not, uh, it's not agate wear or agate glass, um, I don't know, but it's, uh, it's nice, uh, nice quality to it, uh, five bucks on that, the, uh, green depression, I think it's a poinsettia pattern, a uh, guy gave this to me, bought a few things from his table, picked this up, asked him how much. He says, ah, go ahead, take it. Uh, good thing about it, there's no chips, and the uh, lid is original. Uh, so, I think that's at least a $20 piece right there. It's pretty cool. Um, Coors Legislate... Uh, something but uh, got that look of like 1800s to it milk glass um, little uh, little container uh, we'll have to look that up see where that is but uh, two bucks on that pair of symbols uh, got a yard sale had these and uh, go to pick them up he's like well, that one's got a crack, and uh, he was, of course, it's probably not this one, is it? Uh, there it is. So that one's got a crack. The other one looks pretty good to me. He's like, ah, give me 20 bucks for him. So, uh, one good one alone. I mean, prices for these are all over the place. Uh, they seem to go anywhere from 50 to 150 just for one. Uh, I'm going to sell them as a pair because I don't know who's going to buy a cracked one. Uh, we'll see what we get. I uh, imagine somebody with a drum set could probably buy and use these. Uh, the little uh, boot horn here, or what do you call that thing? You, you step on it here and pull your boot off up here. Uh, two bucks on that. It's uh, pretty heavy brass. The uh, DVDs. Lady had these in a uh, box for, uh, she's had 75 cents a piece. I picked up the uh, sets here because I figured, well, they got to be more than 75 cents. So I picked them up, asked her, well, how much for these? She says, oh, 75 cents. Still sealed. Uh, True Blood. That's uh, another True Blood season there. So uh, should bring good there, good money there. Uh, the pen up. One of my favorite pieces here. Condition's a little rough. Uh, got that for three dollars. Uh, the artist is Bradshaw Crandell. Too bad it's not on. It's not an original. But uh, love the uh, pinup art from uh, the 1940s. Uh, Bradshaw Crandell is a. Uh, it's a pretty good artist. House of Westmore, Hollywood. Uh, like this, uh, the old perfume sets, uh, two bucks on that. 
the uh, uh, stamp book. It's a little, uh, they've curled up a little bit out here in the dampness. Uh, they're all Russian stamps. Uh, and uh, I probably overpaid for these things. But uh, I paid $40 for this whole book. And uh, like I said, probably overpaid. But uh, the Russians, I gotta give them credit. They make some pretty, uh, pretty good looking stamps. Um, got stamps for everything here. Uh, some of these are canceled, some of them aren't. Uh, check out the bear from uh, Mongolia. <laughs> but uh, one of the things I thought, well, am I ever going to see another book like this again? And I thought, no. This lady brought it right from uh, Russia. And uh, uh, so, probably not going to make out too well on that. This thing, it's a compensating polar planimeter. And from what I can tell, it's for like measuring the insides of boxes or cubes. Um, one revolution of the wheel is 10 square inches for factors for scale drawings. Uh, see page 11 of the instruction book. So, got this for 8 bucks. Seems like a uh, pretty uh, nice little precision piece. Should do well. Uh, a bunch of these little pendants. pendants. Uh, they were uh, 20 bucks for a lot of them. I think it's like nine of them here. Uh, we'll sell these by the piece. I imagine they came in uh, boxes of, uh, I mean, packs of baseball cards. And, uh, you know, a Phillies fan would probably love to have that. There's old Reds. There's old uh, Senators. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep, nine. Indians is my favorite one. Um, hats. Don't like buying hats, but these uh, look like they've never been worn and they were only a buck a piece. The ball. I uh, got that for free because it's uh, deflated and uh, the little stem is inside there. Got a actual photo, um, actual autograph for there. Leo something number 67. Um, so, uh, eh, for free, how can you go wrong? Like the, uh, whiskey, uh, crate. That was five bucks. Love old, uh, wooden crates. Uh, last piece to show you. Something I've never seen before. A, uh, moulage. I don't even know how you say it. Moulage set war bones set of 19 and uh, for what I can tell this is for when uh, they do drills reenactments or something uh, the guys playing the injured will put these on their body and uh, see how the medics treat them um, here's a uh, frostbite foot trench foot what is that phosphorus burn hand Got some uh, packets of fake blood in here. Um, yeah, let's take a look. Atomic burn face. So if you were reenactment reenacting it, somebody that's burned by an atomic bomb, you have uh, this thing here. Put that over your face. Kind of creepy. Uh, and they got these things too. I don't know if that hooks up to the uh, to that. Well, so it's supposed to be a set of 19. It's missing uh, one, two, three, four. I bet somebody took those for Halloween costumes. Uh, but the whole set, I paid $75 for the entire set. 
and uh, did a search on eBay. One of these sets, complete back in March of this year, sold for uh, $500. Uh, so, not being complete, I think it uh, still should bring $300. Uh, give that a try. The only drawback to this shipping weight is going to be very high. Uh, the shipping cost is going to be very high because of the weight. Cool looking set, though. So there we go. Not a whole lot. Uh, a few high-priced items. Hopefully, uh, we'll do well. Keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99. It's uh, we got uh, closing in on 8,000 items listed. And uh, um, uh, Christmas is coming. Uh, be here before you know it. So. Uh, if you're listing stuff on eBay, uh, get it listed now. So until next time, it's Will Yard Sales Vivalist. We'll talk again soon.